for men and a watch movement. Their aim is to assemble their own watches. You could say that here, grown men turn into little boys. Probably everyone has tried at some point to take a watch apart and then realized he couldn't put it back together. For the last seven years, the watch manufactory Schäuble & Söhne has been offering courses in Karlsruhe at the edge of the Black Forest. Participants have just six hours to learn how to assemble a watch. Real watchmakers train for three years. I'm not great with my hands and much less when it comes to fine mechanics. And now I want to find out just how clumsy I am. But before they can try out their dexterity, the participants have to learn some theory. Schäuble and Söhne was founded in 1924 and in 2009 took 21st place in the Watch of the Year competition. Before the course, the participants each selected one of a number of different models. And like in other courses at renowned watch manufactories, here the customers can take apart their own watches. Before taking the watches apart, their precision is measured with an instrument, which checks the timing and regularity. We want it to run at least as well again as well again this evening. I'm going to try. This is the first watch I've ever taken apart and put back together. The participants need a lot of help from watchmaker Till Lottermann, especially at the start. The dial is especially sensitive. You have to be careful not to scratch it. Deja Milenkovic has to break down the Swiss movement into its 48 parts. The smallest screws here are as big as the largest in average watches, making it the perfect watch for beginners. A professional could take this watch apart in less than 10 minutes. Deja Milenkovic needs an hour. Considering that I'm working with the very simplest watch movement, I'd hate to see the insides of a more complicated one with a perpetual calendar and so on. Assembling these few parts will be hard enough. I can't remember where everything belongs. <laughs> then it's time to reassemble the watch. Finger cards ensure no fingerprints are left on the gilded plates. As Dejan Milenkovic suspected, reassembling the watch is even more complicated than taking it apart. Watchmaker Till Lottermann has to give a helping hand. Even tightening the screws is a challenge. You have to get it just right. You can rip the thread right out of the plate if you screw them in too tightly. Because the threads are only 1.0 millimeters. This too is part of the exercise. Parts falling to the ground. Everyone's searching for a tiny but crucial screw. It can hardly be seen with the naked eye. Things like that liven up the course, otherwise it would be boring. And the fact is, I don't have many spares of this particular screw. So we have to find it, and we will find it. After 90 minutes of total concentration, Deja Milenkovic has almost achieved his goal. He paid 980 euros for the course, the watch included. But it remains to be seen whether it will run properly. The Krona comparator determines whether or not he has succeeded. It shows the watchmaker how many seconds the watch gains or loses per day. The watch ticks with the spirit I've breathed into it. The watch runs just as well as it did originally. You can be proud of yourself.
I think they flatter us a little. I think it isn't any worse than it was before, and at least as good, they say. So I'll believe them. <laughs> now Dejan Milenkovic can take home the watch he assembled. And he knows, if need be, he'll be able to repair it himself.